Welcome to the fifth chapter of the React Relay tutorial on how to GraphQL. In this chapter, you'll learn how to use the React Router library with Relay to implement some navigation functionality. An interesting note about Relay is that it actually started out as a routing framework that eventually also got connected with data loading responsibilities. This was particularly visible in the design of Relay Classic, where Relay Route was a core component. However, with Relay Modern, the idea is to move away from having routing as an integral part of Relay and make it more flexible to work with different routing solutions. Since we are still in the early days of Relay Modern, there is not really much advice or conventions to build upon. The Facebook team has a few suggestions how routing can be handled together with Relay, but it will certainly take some time until best practices and appropriate tools around this topic evolve. So to keep it simple in this tutorial, we're just going with React Router, which is a popular routing solution in the React ecosystem. The first thing you'll do is add the React Router dependency to your React project. So in the root directory of the project, type the command yarn add React Router DOM and this is going to install the React Router dependencies that we'll need in the, in the next couple of minutes. And before we actually go and implement the routing, let's go ahead and add a header, header component to our app that we can use to display some menu items to the user so that they can use these to navigate around. So in the project, go ahead and create a new file that's called header inside the components directory and paste the following code into it. Basically, all that's happening here is that we are rendering this header component where we include two link components. And notice that these link components are different from the link that we wrote here. So this is the link that we import from the React Router package and the link that we wrote before is there to render our Hacker News links that the users are going to post. So it's just incidental that both have the same name, but don't get them confused. All right, so the next step for you is going to be to render this header component and to set up the routes for our application. And you'll do all that in the app component right here where you simply have to go and re-implement the render function so that it looks as follows. So first we are rendering the header and then we define these routes in the switch component that we're getting from Re Relay Router. And in the switch component, we can set up and define the different routes for our app. And we've got the root route where we're rendering the li link list page. So the root route will just display all the links that we currently have stored in the database. And then we've got this slash create route as well, where we render the uh, create link component. So obviously for this to work, you also need to go and import the required dependencies. So that's the header component as well as the switch and the route. And then we also need to import the link list page so that it can be rendered. To complete the setup, we also have to wrap our app component inside the browser router component that we also getting from the React Router library. That we have to do in the index.js file where we are now, instead of rendering the app component like this, can simply go ahead and wrap it inside this browser router component. And of course, the browser router component also needs to be imported. So here we're adding this import from the React Router DOM package. The last thing we're going to do in this chapter is to adjust the callback that we're passing into the create link mutation. So instead of just printing a message to the console, we'll navigate back to the root component after a mutation is completed. All right, this was it for chapter five of the React Relay tutorial of how to GraphQL. In the next chapter, we are going to implement an authentication mechanism and make sure our users can log into our app.